We're back with more influencers faking their sh**. Yep. You guys seem to like this one, okay? And you know what? I think it is a good reminder for everyone not to compare yourself on social media, not to believe everything you see, and just accept yourself for who you are, your body, your mind, your soul, everything. So, you know what? I approve this content. Cheers. We're hopping on hydration station. Take a sip of water today. I bet you haven't. Some of you probably haven't even had a sip. It's lemon water in my cup, if you know. You know. Influencer caught in an embarrassing Photoshop fail as she posts an image of herself preparing to fly on a private jet, but the plane is parked inside a hangar. Okay, first of all, this picture itself, there's no way someone's believing that's real. Ma'am, it's parked inside a hangar. I'm staring at the ground and the back is just an edited photo of the sky. Anyways, okay. Keep going. So here's a picture of her inside the private jet. <laughs> I knew it, I saw it right away. And then in the window, look at that. We are inside a hangar. Okay, yeah, come on, be so for real. Did you guys know you can actually rent out rooms? that are sets of private jets just to take content. I'm not even kidding. Toronto actually has this place that has like six different types of rooms and you can just go and rent it and take pictures like for content. I don't know what satisfaction you get from pretending to fly on a private jet. Like what do you actually get inside? Cause even if you're getting validation from strangers, you know that it's not true. Instagram versus red carpet interview. Beautiful. Love the hair and makeup, truthfully. And then this is a per- okay, so this is the tagged- yeah, they look very different. They look- they don't look like the same person. And I say that respectfully. You just don't look like the same person. Let's keep in mind posing. Let's keep in mind of that because sometimes on the red carpet, it's very harsh lighting, you guys very harsh lighting. Also, if you're mid speaking, maybe like if I spoke sometimes it could give me the look of a double chin. You know what I'm saying? Like angles, timing, everything of that screenshot, but they're saying it's a screenshot from a video. So you could actually watch the video of her speaking and they're like, you don't look like this on your Instagram. She told someone in the comments, the reason you can't see her pores is good foundation when she's literally blurred to oblivion. Yeah, girl. First of all, I'm looking at the blurred version. <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody got skin like that. And if you do, great. You were blessed by the gods or you are getting some work done. And by all means, do what you want. That is not skin though. That is not natural skin. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Skin has texture. I've showed you guys my skin. I've changed the lighting in here. I have acne scars. I have wrinkles. Skin's meant to like move around. It's meant to move. It's meant to have scars. It's meant to, you know, have texture. We're not dolls. All right, we got what she posted on Instagram versus we have a TMZ real shot of her at the beach and as always, looking at the real photo of her on the beach. Beautiful, stunning, bod is great, had absolutely no reason to edit. And yet we did. Let me zoom. Okay, let's see. Well, the hair looks the same, you know. Honestly, face looks, face looks the same. It's just the bod. It seems like she's really cinched her waist in the pictures to give her more curves, maybe. Yeah, it's just like the hourglass shape that apparently everyone in this world is longing for. So it seems in the influencer community, the hourglass, the cinch waist, the bigger hips, Tana. Influencer's photo posted on Insta versus screenshot from a video, <laughs> yes. Influencer, Tana Mojo, yep, mm hmm So the top is what she's posted. The bottom is from the actual shoot that they did. Guys, if you don't follow Tana Mojo, she's one of my very first YouTubers that I followed like growing up. I have always been a fan of hers and I've met her a few times. She's great in person. She's lovely and super down to earth and herself. Anyways, she is the first person to tell everyone that she face tunes her pictures all the time. She talks about it all the time. She will post the picture edited and say, I face tuned my butt in this photo. Like she, she has no shame. She is just like, yeah, I, I edited this photo and here's the edited version. At least, if you're gonna do it, at least be honest about it. 
That's all I care about. If you're uncomfortable in your body in the original image and you choose to edit it and stuff, the least you can do for the audience and to your followers is to say, hey, I edited this. It kind of gives like a little bit of, hey, this is fake. Don't compare yourself. Don't even compliment my body because I edited it. You know what I mean? At least be transparent. Not that I think you should do it at all. I don't think Tana needs to do it at all. I've met her in person and she's beautiful. Absolutely doesn't need to do it, but she does all the time. And she's very upfront about it. Guys, what would be the point of posting this? They, you didn't even try to make it look real in any way. You just, whoop, you did all the editing and you were like, I don't even care. I don't even care. Don't care that they know. You didn't even try to make it look somewhat realistic. And why would you post this as some kind of like flex? Like girl, you are beautiful, bod is great. Why would you post this as a flex? What do you mean? <laughs> no, this is crazy. Whoa, now wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. What, I need to zoom because I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on. It looks like you accidentally just erased half of your body. Where did you just control alt delete on one of your rib cages? What is going on? <laughs> Bless. Bless. I understand what you were going for in the hourglass, the tiny waist, but scientifically, it ain't even right, girl. You've just deleted half your body. You've deleted half your body. This is so absurd. That, guys, who, how do you look at that after you edit and you're just like, that's it. That's the final product. I cannot waste to post this, girl. Good, flex, you look so good, baby. How? I don't even know what's real in this picture. I don't even know what part of this is real. Okay, zooming in. The hair looks like you quite literally just copied and pasted hair onto this photo. The face, that's not real. Absolutely not real. Not even sure how much of that is your own face to begin with. Looks completely like you took someone else's head and then your body looks somewhat sunburned, but not. The body itself, wh which part is real? Is the body real and just the head is photoshopped on? Are you even on a motorcycle? There's more fake than real in this entire photo, right? It all looks fake to me. Whoa. Okay, I don't even know who this is. Oh, Beauty Falls, this page, there's, there's an Instagram account that literally the entire Instagram page is calling out celebrities for this. Like they take their Instagram pictures and then the real life version of like that day or something. And yeah, their entire page is like this. I don't know who this is, but yep. Heavy editing, heavy makeup too. I don't know if that's a filter. I think it's makeup. I think that's real makeup. Makeup does wonders. The nose contour, I can see it. Whoo, you can, whoever's your makeup artist or if it's yourself, y'all know your contour. That looks like you literally had a nose job. Great contouring. Even the cheekbones, snatched. But again, looks very different in person. Not much is real in her pics and video, plus the background moves round in them. Last pick is one she was tagged in from a hairdresser. This is these are all the same person? Okay, whoa. The face is so, whose face is this? Is this a filter? Is this a filter? She must be using some kind of filter. The bottom left looks like it's just makeup, very heavy makeup. And honestly, oh my God, the video you're tagged in from the hairdresser, you're so pretty. So pretty. That's the best one out of all. You're beautiful and what cool hair you have. You look natural, absolutely beautiful. Oh, lady, we need to talk, okay? We just, we need to hang out for a day and we need to have a conversation. We need to chat, all right? Because you're not understanding your own value and beauty here. 
Okay, you're actually doing yourself a disservice because you're beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> guys, guys, I mean the purple eyes. Let's be honest, not real, obviously can't have purple eyes. I understand fake contacts and the colored ones, maybe, but no, we've decided to just take eyes and eyebrows. I don't even know how you do that. Is that a filter? Yeah, maybe it's a filter because sometimes the filters, if you ever use Snapchat or Instagram, if you have a hat on or stuff, you can see the filter like move around on your face. So that might be what happened. And the fact she posted it, she must not have noticed. See, my friends would have seen that and been like, girl, be so fing for real right now. Are you kidding me? Oh, the sky. I'm like, I don't know. Her her body actually doesn't look that photoshopped. Like it looks like a real healthy body. It's the sky. <laughs> and I've used that exact one. I'm not even kidding. I've told you guys, I used to edit the sky. Not to pretend that it was real though. Not at all. Like in the pictures, I put this exact pink yellow sky and I remember the app that used to do it years ago and this would be the struggle. Around the trees, which is the original sky, the edit wouldn't go. So you had to like go in and do so much work if you wanted to like flesh out that blue behind the trees and it was just way too much work half the time. Um, but you will find that exact sky in some of my images. Not to be like, hey, I'm on vacation. It was just like a really cool edit kind of thing that I did, but I've used that exact app and I've had that same problem in the past and I just never posted the photo if it looked like that. Now what in the actual, what is the point of this? Going so far to edit a hospital picture of yourself, not to mention, no offense, but the original looks way better. Like the shape of your head that you've edited, it's looking a little deformed. I'm confused why we edited this picture. I, I don't even understand. Maybe, like I understand maybe brightening it up or something, okay. But why did you completely change your face and your head? Tana, yes. Okay, so this is actually one of the first times she openly spoke so candidly about her Photoshop. So she, so she posted the picture obviously in the water on her Instagram and then fans and stuff saw her filming and taking pictures on the beach and these are some of the real ones. And she got caught, there were videos, pictures, and she straight up like talked about it and was like, you guys, I am so caught. You guys caught me. This is what I look like and this is how I edit my pictures. And from like one of these first moments on, She's just had to been transparent and everyone knows it. It's kind of strange that people have like ex accepted that because she really edits her photos a lot where it doesn't look like her body in person. Her face is different. It's her body. She only like really photoshops her body. She, she looked the same to me in person, like her face. Um, but girl, why do we gotta accept that? You know, maybe we shouldn't accept it, but I don't know, I'm trying to see, but I feel for people who aren't comfortable in their bodies. And I can't imagine having an audience that size and the pressure that size that comes with the standards and the body image in Hollywood and things like that. And I appreciate the honesty, at least be honest with your viewers. I think that goes a long way, but also, you're just kind of solidifying like editing your body and ma and meeting those like beauty standards. You know what I mean? I'm rambling. All right, guys, you guys know the drill. This is our reminder why we don't compare ourselves on social media. We don't, okay? And we're perfect the way we are. We truly are. Our bodies, our minds, our souls. We don't need to be editing this shit, okay? This is us. This is our body. We only get one body in this life. We, like, we might as well love it. You know, why hate on it? Why hate on it? And if there's things you want to work on, you know, in a healthy way, you can. But this is what we got. This is what we're working with. Till death do us part, baby. This is it. So anyways, love yourself. I'm out of here. Stay classy. Stay
Stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow.